For all you fans out there wondering how Aquaman and his fellow Atlanteans will be depicted in their natural habitat in the upcoming solo movie, as well as in this November's Justice League, Zack Snyder has got you covered. Talking to Vero, Snyder shared some test footage of Aquaman in motion underwater, swimming towards what appears to be another Atlantean. We'll get to see the real thing in action when Justice League hits theaters on November 10th, 2017. Riley, buy yourself the test footage of Aquaman from Justice League. Yeah, I buy this. That I buy this big time. I, I thought this was. I know it's test footage. I know we got some some Yahoo right there ruining the shot with the, you know taking his own shot. It's probably <laughs> Snyder. Um, but I really, really, really like this because one, it's the first time we've really seen Atl uh, Atlantis. I mean, I think that's Atlantis. We got. I don't know who's sitting there on the throne with his trident, but the way that Aquaman swims in. It gives you a nice peek, a nice kind of uh, work in progress of what we can expect in Justice League, which is going to be probably a great... I, we're going to spend some time down there. I know it's not going to be all the time, but it's going to be a great tease for Aquaman because Aquaman, I'm telling you what, James Wan, mm. that's what mm -hmm. gets me excited for Aquaman. And, and it seems to be the only DC property right now just going along, minding its own business, and that's what we need. I can't wait for this. So this gives me a nice indication of what we're going to get. This is a great, and it's a big uh, buy for me. It's a buy for me, too, Perry. I'm, I'm not going to get too excited because I saw six seconds of somebody <laughs> swimming underwater. But looking at this footage, everything that Justice League has shown us has been very right by me. Not all the other stuff that you read about, but just what I've seen from my eyeballs, whether it's at Comic-Con or now this stuff, I am like, they're really doing everything right. I don't know how long we're going to spend in Atlantis in Justice League, but from the indications of this, that's pretty exciting footage. Remember when David Copperfield flew? Does anybody remember that? David sure. He flew, and it was kind of like, weird. how is he doing? That's what it looks like. It looks like he's flying, except he's underwater, thus swimming. So, Perry, one, are we going to have ghost sharks? Two, yeah. are you excited about this footage? Oh, my. If Aquaman had ghost sharks, that would pretty much be my most anticipated movie of the decade. Mm -hmm. I would love to see that. And I'm pretty sure that has to be Snyder there. You have a little bit of his, like, flippy-do hair in the front there. I was True. thinking it might be James Wan, like, studying, like, taking notes for the... Yeah, but it's it could, it could be. Movie. It could be. I thought it was Josh McCuga, actually. I thought he was just <laughs> like, he got in there somehow. Good chance it's McCuga. It might be McCuga. <laughs> when I first saw the headlines that, oh, test footage of Aquaman, I thought it was going to be, you know, one of those BS posts of someone, and someone I don't mean official, just someone taping the footage of the test footage that isn't allowed to do it. So when I actually saw this came from Zack Snyder, and I saw what it was. Normally I'd say six seconds and test footage, no big deal, let's all calm ourselves. This is, this is a big deal though. Like this is our first look at this world. This is our first look at how he's gonna move underwater, which I mean, the fact that it looks good, because this is the kind of thing that should be super jarring. The first thing that comes to mind like this is something like Beauty and the Beast. You remember when we got our first look at most of the characters, especially the, the digital characters from Beauty and the Beast? I mean, that it was jarring. It was weird to see something like that. So the fact that I saw this and right off the bat, I'm like, that looks right. That feels right. That that could be a pretty big game changer for, for Aquaman's presence in Justice League and Aquaman moving forward. Yeah. yeah, I would put this more in line with when we first saw images of the Jungle Book at D23. Yeah. And we're like, all right, let's see how these CGI. Oh, my God, that's a real panther. Like, we got excited about that. Same level as this. Again, this is only six seconds, so I don't want to get too pumped about this yet, but I thought the Aquaman sequence in Batman v Superman was really neat to look at, and I was like, ooh, I can't wait to see this movie. So Aquaman, you take a guy who a couple years ago was a punchline to a lot of people, nobody's laughing anymore, man. We're just excited to see the Aquaman elements of Justice League and then the standalone movie.